Naomi of Ife breaks down emotionally as Queen Naomi rejected his invitation once again. <laughs> but my question is, eh, why would he want to invite Queen Naomi again when he is very much sure that he has not sought the main problem at hand? Because we all know that ever since Queen Naomi left the palace, she have been, he has been trying everything within his power to bring back with Naomi and they say with Naomi keep rejecting him. The worst is they said when uh, he went to with Naomi's church to see if uh, it will make any difference because they said he have gone to her house in Akure. Queen Naomi refused to come out and see him. And they said when he went to the church, Queen Naomi also disappointed him because despite everything he did to talk Queen Naomi into talking with him, they said Queen Naomi just ignored him. You know, he, she did not utter any word to him. So after that, we heard that uh, when he got an information that Queen Naomi went to uh, Lekki, the royal mansion in Lekki, they say he went to Lekki and uh, went to a particular hotel. They say that that is where they normally meet sometimes. You know, he booked an appointment there, as in he booked uh, a suit for the two of them. And he was hoping that they are going to use that opportunity to kind of spend time together. They said when he sent the invitation to Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi just read the invitation and politely, from what we heard, replied to him that she is busy and she's not going to attend that uh, she's not going to come. They say KBSC could not believe it. You know that one thing he believes so much about Kwenami is that Kwenami's anger is just momentarily. It's not something that she will take for a very long time. That is what they said she told uh, he told um, uh, Iyanifa because information have it that that moment that Kwenami left Yanifa was very, very angry. Yanifa was angry because when they were doing rituals for Ashley, Yanifa thought that Quenomi was aware of it. But when she found out that Quenomi was not aware, they said she was very angry. When she told Kabiesi, when Yanifa told Kabiesi that he had offended Quenomi so badly that he should go after Quenomi immediately. And they said, uh, Kabiesi told Yanifa that she shouldn't be too bothered about Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi's anger, anger does not last long and all of that. But from the look of things, <laughs> it's like Queen Naomi have made up her mind. Oh, yes, it's like she have made up her mind completely. And see, if I happen to be in Queen Naomi's shoe, let me tell you what I would do. Since it is obvious that I might not be able to leave KBSC, Kabiesi will have to choose who must. If you must not choose her, hey, I will give it to you the way that you will choose by fire by force. Do you know what I mean by fire by force? Every day, even if it means coming to the social media to be crying, going around to the whole places where I know that I will embarrass you. I will, by the time I will do it one month, and there, I know that there are people who will give Kwenomi their full support until... She made Kabiesi choose between her and this uh, Oloris or let her go. Because I don't see the reason why Kabiesi would want to keep the Oloris and also keep Queen Naomi. And not only that, do you know that Queen Naomi is even trying? Because I believe that had it been Kabiesi was so open to Queen Naomi about everything, Queen Naomi would have stayed because she had returned back to the royal, man, uh, royal manor already. Yes, knowing that these women are still there, she returned back. So the thing is that maybe she thought that KBSC, like he promised uh, that he is going to make it up to her, that KBSC is going to be transparent, tell her everything that she needs to know about everything that is happening. That is what she was thinking when she agreed to return. This is to tell you that she has just adjusted to the point that it's, it, it looks as if she's even accepting the polygamy that she said she's not going to accept. Yes. But the height of it is a situation whereby KBC will not tell her the truth. So that is why it, it, it looks as if uh, uh, she's 
angry because uh, um, Ashley gave birth. No, I don't think that's the issue. The issue is that KBSC is not being transparent. And coupled with the fact that uh, Ashley, on the other hand, can tie up with Naomi if she have the opportunity. I'm telling you, from what we heard, though, and, okay, let's judge, judge from what she wrote based on her, the birth of her child, of which a lot of people are saying that it is true surrogacy. Uh -huh. Then KBSC, on the other hand, lying that he doesn't know about it, allegedly, don't forget that I wasn't there, that he doesn't know about it, saying that he doesn't, let me not use the word lying, but saying that he doesn't know about her pregnancy and everything. If it is true surrogacy, is it not KBSC's uh, spam that they use? Hmm? Even if it is normal this thing, is it not KBSC who do it? Because if it is not KBSC, uh, there is no how he is, go he is going to accept the baby and all of that. So the major problem here is that he doesn't want to be playing to be Naomi. He wants to be because, and I believe that the reason why he, do, he doesn't want to be playing is that, is because his ways are not upright. And maybe he was, he is even planning to marry more. <laughs> yes. And by convincing Kwenomi to return to the royal manor, maybe Kwenomi will be there, he will go and welcome more and all of that. So they said he was heartbroken. He was, he breaks down emotionally when he received that message because Kwenomi sent it back to him immediately. They say immediately Kwenomi received the message. She did not waste time to send it back to him that she is not coming. That she is busy with something more important. Yeah, the second base, she could not believe it. Because at this point, I don't think he is more important to Kwenomi than every other thing. <laughs> you see what... Uh, Betrayal of trust can cause. Yes, because when uh, you betray the trust that someone has on you, even if you are the best thing that have ever happened to that person, uh, the person will tell you that he doesn't have time for you, that he has time for more important things. <laughs> so let me tell you, it's an advice. So, no, they betray people's trust. KBC have betrayed Konami trust over and over again. And that is why she is the way she is right now. They say her anger is high, very high. Although, like Kabiosi said, it, it, it's, maybe it will be for a moment. You know, because from the look of things, Kabiosi is not ready to give up. Because he knows that giving up means giving up his throne and even his life is not even assured due to the oath that they said he took Penami to go and take in the Odua Sacred uh, forest. Anyway, guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.